If you're not familiar with Louisiana Monroe football, ask someone from Arkansas about the Warhawks or even Auburn. ULM home opener Baylor in town game on ESPN before a record crowd of more than 31,000 at Malone Stadium. Now, the, the Warhawks go with a, a dual quarterback offense, Colton Browning and Cody Wells, and they've got them on in the first quarter. Wells is going to hand off to Browning, and then the defender sees this, so he's says, all right, run, 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 comes up to the line, and then Browning stops and drops that pass to Colby Harper. Browning already a touchdown pass in the in this game. You can see it's 7-0. Next play, coach said, you know what? Let's keep the quarterbacks in the backfield. And this time, Browning takes the snap. He's going to hand off to Wells, and then Wells will pass it. Tavares May for 10 yards. Next play, keep the two quarterbacks out there. Baylor says, you know what? Hey, let's, uh, let's have a timeout and... And, and, and what are they doing here? Uh, later in that drive, Montero, Washington, nine yards, 14 nothing. Bo both scores set up by interceptions thrown by Baylor quarterback Nick Florence, which led former Baylor quarterback Robert Griffin to tweet, hey, no need to panic. Perseverance is the key, and he is a young, wise one. Because here we are, fourth quarter. It's a one-point game, first and goal for Baylor with under eight minutes to go. Florence faking the handoff, pitches to Levi Norwood, who's not a quarterback, but scores from nine. Uh, Baylor, the conversion was a disaster. They're up five. Next drive for ULM, and oh, the read option, and that's a bad read. Uh, uh, Browning unable to hand off that football successfully. Baylor recovers. The fans can't believe it. Uh, and then Baylor, salt in the wound. Florence, Terrence Williams. Baylor is going to win it 47-42. But look, trust me, nobody wants to play the Warhawks right now.